in, there's a lot of debate right now about like this, you know, a lot of uh, discourse about the hijab and niqab and, you know, you have uh, the, the recent here in Canada and Quebec, you know, they've banned religious symbols and government uh, positions. Uh, so in, in this case, on the one hand, we want to speak out against this. You know, we want to, people want to talk against the niqab and, 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 the, and all of this and, and how it represents the subjugation of women. But on the other hand, you know, when you hear certain politicians um, talk about it, then your reaction was to go ahead and wear it, even as a kid. Mm. How should we have a conversation about this? How, how should they have a conversation about it? The, the way that I deal with it is that I, I believe in the individual. I believe that everyone should have a choice to wear what the, whatever they want to wear and believe whatever they want to believe. Um, I think the problem with right-wing, well, with anyone saying that something should be banned is that it immediately causes a forbidden fruit effect where everybody suddenly wants to do it now or everybody right. wants to support it. Um, and that's what I really don't appreciate. We we had it in the UK, I think it was last year, where um, a former mayor of London, his name is Boris Johnson, he was all speaking out to ban the niqab. Um, and people hated that because he had ref referred to women wearing the niqab as, as highway robbers and letterboxes and things like that. And it's just so, there are better ways of bringing up the issue and talking about it and, you know, making a joke out of it. People are so sensitive about it. Um, when it comes to actual uh, legal issues, when it comes to, you know, cutting off people's freedom to choose something, it, it should be treated with a lot more sensitivity. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.